Hey everyone, Jack here. It's September 2023, and it has been a pretty busy summer for us at Glide. So in case you're away and you missed something, here's a quick recap of what's new. Glide apps have always been able to display rich text, but now with the new notes component, your users can write rich text in a familiar visual editor, working with headers, lists, links, and more. Next, multiple filters for collections. In-app filtering now supports multiple properties, meaning that you can let your users filter by multiple attributes, giving them much greater control when searching through large datasets. Conversations in Glide are now way easier with the comments and chat components. Underneath, these are really just collection styles displaying a table of comments, but they're tailored for conversational data. You can use them to create chat screens or a comment section. And if you want to try it out right away, just add the sample screen. We see Glide being used by lots of businesses for field operations, and a very common workflow need there is the ability to take lots of photos and then upload multiple images or files at once. Now with the multi-image and multi-file upload columns, it's really easy to do this. Just add the column, connect a picker component, and upload all of your files. And to take advantage of this, we've updated the image component to display arrays of images as image carousels. Now you can create beautiful image galleries, product showcases, instruction manuals, and much more. And the new branded sign-in experience brings images to your app's front door. You can choose a custom background image, logo, and text, giving a really nice vibe. The new query column brings more database power and flexibility into the data editor, but as usual, in a very intuitive way. The query column can pull in data from any table, filter, sort, and limit that data all in one column. The real Glide power users have been really excited about this because it allows you to do things that you need to do all the time but that previously were quite complex to set up. To learn more about this, head over to Glide University. Robert Petito has a great video on the query column. SSO is now generally available. With many Glide customers deploying custom apps across different teams and workflows, SSO streamlines, secures, and speeds up access with a single set of login credentials. SSO is available on our enterprise plan, and you can contact our sales team to learn more. And finally, Glide AI is available now in beta. Glide AI is a set of building blocks that makes it easy to create AI-powered apps with your business data. With features like audio to text, image to text, structured data formats, and text generation, you can build incredibly powerful and custom tools for your business. Now, it's early days, but we're already seeing a ton of people adding Glide AI to their existing projects. It's really easy to underestimate the difference between using a simple tool like ChatGPT and then designing exactly the way that AI should work right inside your business data. So that's a look at what we shipped at Glide over the summer. As usual, let us know what your favorite features were in the comments and what you're hoping for next. We'll catch you soon.